hello welcome back to my channel this is Lamy cooks today it's a vlog style cook with me video so it's me and my friend Swad trying to prepare something the night before Eid. we decided to give out to our friends and family who are here with us in Dubai so we'll take you through how we made our Hausa stew which we prepared with chicken you can prepare it with beef as well if you want so in my blender I have onions I just added some ginger and garlic and then I'll add my spices you know I don't joke with my spices it's always part of my meal I added some black peppercorns some cloves star anise and anise seeds to the blender added some water and then I blended all together to use it to steam the chicken whilst I was doing this sword was cleaning trying to defrost the chicken because we took it out a bit late because this was like a last minute so we took it out from the fridge a bit late so she was still trying to defrost it and the chicken was in two parts we had the hard chicken and the soft chicken so we started steaming the hard chicken first for about 15 minutes before we added the soft chicken to it I had some plantains roasting in the oven we were going to use them as snack whilst we're cooking so I checked on them and I turned them over we have already peanuts waiting for this so we're excited <laughs> now the other side has to cook I blended my onions to use for the stew so these are whole onions, a lot, lots, lots of them. So for salad stew, you, you need a lot of onions. We usually we put a lot, and I mean a lot of onions. <laughs> it's the same, same as any house as stew. You need a lot of onions. That's one of the secrets. So at this stage, Swad has been able to defrost the hard chicken in order to cut the that smell, that smelly, that chicken smell. She added some lime. Or if you have lemon that's fine she added some to cut that uh, that strong chicken smell from it now the hot chicken is ready I added the ginger garlic spices blend and onion blend I added I added enough because we're going to add the soft chicken later on after cooking this for about 15 minutes so I added enough um, uh, spice and salt just to be for just to be enough for both and I added two maggi shrimp tablets and then some salt to taste I covered it and wait, wait for it to cook for about 15 minutes. I then went back to check on the plantain and it was almost done the one I was grilling I just had to leave it for a few more minutes maybe another three to five minutes and it will be ready whilst the chicken was steaming I started the stew on the other side so I added my oil waiting for it to get hotter I remember I already blended the onions now Swad was also on Facebook live so I had to show them what we we're doing 
So it was like two things at the same time. So she was on Facebook Live and I was trying to turn the camera to show them what we were actually doing. So once the oil was hot, I added the onions that I blended. Unfortunately, I lost some of the clips. So the clip of when I was adding the tomatoes, the tomato paste and the peppers, I lost it. So let me quickly run you through how I made it. So after the onions has, has been cooking for about 5 to 10 minutes, I blended some fresh tomatoes with some pepper. I used green peppers, if you have papushita or um, scotch bonnet, you can use that. And then I added, I also added two chopped canned tomatoes and then some tomato paste. I cooked it down for about 30 to 45 minutes. Now remember, this whole process started at night, it was late. So we had to cook it in two parts. So I cooked this, left it and then we continued the next morning. And with the chicken as well, we steamed it and then we left it. We added the soft one, we steamed and left it for the next morning to be fried. Our coffee brookman was ready, so I got the nuts, the roasted nuts, to go with it. It was really, really yummy. It was a great snack to have whilst we were cooking and gisting and talking about stuff. <laughs> After the chicken was cooked, we left it to marinate in, the, in its own stock or juices, so it tastes delicious. So this was the next morning when we woke up, immediately swad, fry, deep fry the chicken. It smelled really, really good. Yummy, delicious goodness. <laughs> yeah, so we deep fried the chicken and set it aside. And usually when I'm deep frying anything, I love to cover it because for me, it saves me the hassle of extra cleaning. Because if you don't cover what you're frying, it splatters everywhere. So I usually cover my, if I'm deep frying, I usually cover it. You can see how the stew has fried nicely since yesterday. Anyway, we put it off before we slept, not since yesterday. <laughs> so yeah, you can see how it has fried nicely. We saved up the chicken stock, which contains all the yummy delicious goodness. Yes, do not throw your stock away. I don't know who does that. It, does anyone throw the stock away? Because this is where all the goodness is. The flavors and everything is in that stock. Now, I added the stock in two parts because, again, I want to taste my stew to make sure I'm not overpowering with the spices. So I added half. First, I tasted it. If you feel you need more, you can add more. So I added, I added it in two parts. Look at how that stew has reduced and the color is already turning into that Hausa stew, as people call it in Ghana or watches stew. This is the same as watches stew, it's the same method. The secret to this stew is making sure you cook it slowly on a very low heat, stirring continuously. The secret to making Hausa stew is one, lots of onion and making sure you fry your stew properly. So you have to fry it. I was saying muchiankasa. So let it fry properly until you see the color even change into brownish, close to like you're making shito, but not really, you're not really making shito. Yeah, I hope you get the point. So let it fry. Whilst the stew was cooking, we started cooking our rice to speed up time. I have here two nutmegs that I'm going to add to enhance the aroma. So I have two of them. I find the one in the shell 
more aromatic than the one that has been removed. So I usually get those ones. I cracked it, got the the shell out, and then I grounded it in my pestle and mortar. If it was only one or half, yes, I'll grate it, but this is faster for me, especially if I need to put two or more nutmegs in the stew. Our stew is almost done. You can see it has fried properly. Now, I added my grounded nutmeg. I added two bay leaves. And then I gave it a quick stir. Now, I tasted the stew and it tasted a bit sour because of the fresh tomatoes. So usually the trick to that is to add a little bit of kanwi, or if you have bicarbonate of soda, that's fine. So I have here a soaked one, so I'll just pour a little bit of the kanwi water to the stew. Now, if the stew was cooking properly, you would see the, the bubbles form on top of the tomatoes. That tells you that your stew was sour, but this one wasn't boiling, the fire was very low, but it's fine. So give it a stir and taste it to see if it tastes. While the stew was cooking slowly, we decided to have breakfast and just a little bit, but please keep an eye on the stew. So we occasionally went to stir the stew, but we made sure that the, the gas was on very low heat. So as usual, we decided to have breakfast at this time whilst our stew and our rice was on fire. And we always have something to talk about. Trust me, when we come out, we speak from morning till evening. I don't even know what we talk about. <laughs> Now, after breakfast, Swad went back to start preparing the salad. She washed them nicely with vinegar and salt, making sure she opened each and every lettuce to clean because sometimes you might come across some sand in there. We didn't show you the rice because we're having breakfast, but it's almost ready. I'm just gonna cover it with this foil. I think I put too much foil, but just to retain the there you go. And then yes, I'll reduce the heat at low as usual. You know, I like to cook my rice on very very low heat, so it cooks very very slowly. Well, I think we're too tall that the camera cannot even capture. Me, I'm not tall, though. You are hey, tall. You, you are taller than me. Uh -uh, that the camera cannot even capture. But I'm not taller than you. You are taller than me. Ah, okay, let them taller. judge. Okay. See? Oh. Yes. Z. Is that not I'm big? wearing slippers. Okay, I'll remove oh. the slippers. Oh, please. Oh, yeah, you but the slip is, it's flat. Oh. You're, so, you're taller than me. That's my long <laughs> neck. Okay, I'll show you something. I don't know how come how my fridge magnets moved, but one of them have moved down here. I don't know how <laughs> it's supposed to <oops. laughs> it's supposed to be here. I don't know how it moved. I, I don't know who moved it. I don't know if the magnet is working. Maybe you should give them a little brief history about your magnet. I don't know if the magnet is this is from uh, the, the a brief about the magnet. Yeah, you have magnets all around your fridge okay. which is i think is the standard for all of us cabin crew so you might want when to you visit okay let me tell them 
So when you visit the cabin crew, most of chances them. are about 90%, I wouldn't say 100, yeah, but, but yeah. chances are you find your fridge with a lot of magnets. I loved it. Mm -hmm. I love Athens. I went to the Acropolis and it, it's beautiful. I, I love Athens. Nice. I love Athens. And um, this is Venice, another beautiful city. Oh, yes. Venice. Oh, my goodness. Venice. Venice, yeah, it's Venice. written here. Yeah. Venezia, uh, another beautiful nice. city. And that seashells, you know when my kids come over, they just try to Full break everything. They, they break it. So this is seashells. If anybody has been to seashells, you remember this coconut, the male and the female coconut. You remember, this is the male and this is the female. But the, have you, did you, have you seen it? In we seashell. have a key holder. You and I oh, yeah, have a key yeah, holder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's Cameroon. Uh, we, we don't fly there, but a friend gave it to me. Um, Algeria, that's Hong Kong, with all the skyscrapers, the buildings, the iconic buildings right there. And I have Shanghai, I cannot leave China out. Shanghai is there. I have Australia. Mm -hmm. That's the... That's the opera. Well, that's the opera house, yes. That's, yeah. Uh, I think I got this in Sydney. Sydney. Yeah, I, you know, Sydney. I should have bought the well, specific, specific for, for uh, the city I, I, I do to. that. So this is what? This is Brisbane. Mm -hmm. I think I bought this in Sydney. It is Sydney because that's the opera house. Yes. I have pictures there. And this is Hong Kong as well. This is Argentina. Mm -hmm. This is Denmark. I love mm -hmm. this. I love this as well. That's one of my last flights before we close down. Okay, that's Indonesia, truly Asia. Mm -hmm. Enough with the fridge magnet story. Now, Let's look at what Swad was doing. She continued preparing her lettuce and onions and vegetables for the salad whilst she was gisting again, as usual. <laughs> if you ask me right now what we talked about, I cannot even tell you because we talk about everything, like so many things. While she's preparing the salad, you remember it's Eid morning, so trying to catch up with the family. She called them back home to speak to them, and she was so excited because she was speaking to her husband. You can tell from her face while she was preparing the salad. I came back to check on the rice to make sure I stir it around because this is a bigger pot usually i don't stir my rice if i'm cooking in a very small pot but this is a big pot so i decided to give it a quick stir to make sure each and every grain is properly cooked at this stage too my stew was slowly cooking on the other stove and of course we continue chit chatting in the kitchen <laughs> covered it back, it needed more time, so I covered it back. I helped Swad to prepare the salad by grating the carrots for her, and after she finished preparing the salad, she went to take her shower, so we can take turns and one of us can be at the kitchen at all times. I decided to do the dishes to save up time and to clear the kitchen properly before we go out so we don't pile up all the dishes and have to struggle to do it later on. I checked on the rice and this time it was cooked so I switched it off and then I checked on the stew as well and it was also cooked and it smelled really good in the kitchen 
because of the nutmeg and the bay leaves. Trust me, it was yummy. Smells yummy. We couldn't wait to even eat before we go out. I did the final tasting of the stew to make sure it's well seasoned. I needed to add a little bit more salt so I did just to make sure it tastes good and delicious. Your stew is all done. I forgot to tell you one thing. I added some mackerel. Of course, it's some last stew. You don't lose anything if you add. So just let it be soche or so cool. Add your mackerel. I added about three small mackerels. It tastes really good. You can see I was tasting it twice. <laughs> we made a decision to cook another rice because we felt this wouldn't be enough. So whilst Suad was away, I cooked another, another rice, about 6 cups. The first one was 15 cups and we cooked an extra 6 cups. So I made sure I started preparing that before Suad comes to take over. Then I also go and shower. So she just finished praying. <laughs> yes, I just finished praying. So I just finished praying my Eid prayer. There's been um, a Facebook video circulating on how to uh, pray for my Eid, mind? even if you're home. So I think that's a good job done by whoever. Our stew is all done. It smells so good in the kitchen. It looks good. It tastes good. Whoa, your malicious goodness. Are you subscribed to this channel? What are you waiting for? Let me know how I did with this cook with me video. <laughs> yeah, so this is the rice, the one that is still cooking, and this is the already cooked one. Mm -mm -mm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Have you liked this video yet? Please do so now. Thank you. And there we go with the washed dishes that I just did. And then the salad. Swad is about to mix it up all with the other stuff. Whilst she was preparing the salad, I also went to take a shower and get ready because there's gonna be curfew by 6 p.m. So we had to go early so we can come back before that time. Now we all got dressed up, <laughs> this is our salad dress, so we all got dressed up and we decided to dish out the meal, so we're doing it together, Swat so started it because I was still putting on my makeup, of course she said I took so long, <laughs> but I came to join her, so I was dishing the rice and the stew and she was dishing the chicken and the salad and the dressing, so that it's fast.
you know how rice can be very sticky so after we finished dishing it i decided to sweep the floor because most some of the rice dropped on the floor and it was very sticky even before we eat both of us dished out our rice and we had to eat before we leave because we didn't know when we we're coming back and we only had breakfast we haven't had lunch yet and it was almost getting to two in the afternoon so we decided to have lunch before we go so that we don't get caught up and not have lunch on our way i dished out my rice stew and salad and then i kept the rest of the salad in the fridge because you know we cannot leave that out until we get back we went to sit down in the living room eat our lunch before we go and we're still chit chatting <laughs> guys i don't even know what we're talking about but yeah we always have something to say so anyway let's take it that way I hope you enjoy my Eat Cook With Me video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, comment and share. I'll come your way with the part 2 of this vlog, so stay tuned. Stay safe. Thanks for watching. Bye.